Hi, it's longtime distributor Don Sanders thanking you for turning in today for chapter one of my promotional product selling book, Time to Put on Your Selling Shoes. And I want you to know that I'm here to help you as well as Distributor Central. I've been in the industry for a very long time. The thing that I'm most proud of is I made 43% is what I've averaged on my orders over the years, having sold at least, or I'm gonna say $24 million worth of products. I have been in industry publications more than 250 times. I've won two uh, uh, pyramid awards from PPAI. I've been a speaker at many industry shows. I am still a distributor, but today I spend most of my time running my website, sellpromoproducts.com, and training distributors. Now, Distributor Central, I've known since they started. They are the finest platform for searches and information gathering in the industry. There are many things that they can do for you. I will not go into them in detail. A few of them are showing on the screen. Product searches, order management, and e-commerce websites are just a few of them. Now, who would have believed it, but George Washington was the man who started it all when he used buttons in his presidential campaign of 1789. You know, I didn't know this till about 10 years ago even after I had been selling for a very long time, but I think that's a very, very interesting fact. And early in the 1800s, all kinds of products were starting to be printed, including the Farmer's Almanac, which you're seeing an older version on the screen right now, but advertising messages started showing up on calendars, the Farmer's Almanac, and all kinds of little different products. And in the late 1800s, Jasper Meek started printing burlap bags with advertising messages for Cantwell shoes. Now, I didn't know this either, but he believed that children would carry bags to school and potential buyers would see the advertising copy. And he founded the Tuscarora Advertising Company, which is believed to be the first promotional products distributorship in the country. And soon after, Henry D. Beach copied him and started printing the same products that he did. So the competition was started. In 1894, photographs and paintings were added to calendars by Thomas Burke, Thomas Murphy, and Burke Osmond. That business went worldwide because they had 94 employees and 14 traveling salesmen and they sold more than 3 million calendars a year. And in, in 1914, the first trade show was held after uh, 10 years after 1904, when several businesses got together to promote the promotional marketing industry. And in 1924, the industry had expanded and promotional products became known as an effective advertising medium. In 1925, you can see the annual Advertising Specialty Association annual bank in Chicago, Illinois. And after World War II, sales took off dramatically. And you're seeing up there at the top right hand of the screen, there used to be room shows at the Palmer House Hotel in the 1950s and Burlicamp is an old supplier in the industry and very trusted, and they had booths at the Palmer House when, when buyers went from room to room. And in 1966, the membership of PPAI had expanded to numerous mem members, and there were over 300 suppliers exhibiting at that year's show. And we've gone up through the 90s until today, and on the screen, you're seeing Drumline catalogs. Drumline is an old printing company, 100 years old. It got into the promotional products industry a while back. And there's a collage of the different catalogs they've had over the last several years. And in today's world, there are more than $25 billion sold today of promotional products. With goodness knows how many distributors, there's a lot of them. And there are more than 3,000 suppliers. So Distributor Central, will lead you on the path to success and I am happy to help you too. So tune in for the rest of our video book chapters and I'm here to help you and want you to know that Distributor Central is too. Thank you so much for listening.